Hello people, hi what's up? So in this new video, I will cover a very important application of your geometry question of your CAT exam. I know it's a topic which everyone including engineers or, or be it engineer or non-engineer, everyone is scared of, the, of this topic. But this small application or shortcut of your geometry question will help you to scale some good mark at least to get your cutoffs clear. The application will be called as ratio to percentage change where all the possible questions will be from the topic of geometry, but the involved application will not be of any geometrical area, volume or length, but it's going to be on the level of ratio and percentage change, which you all must have done in your algebra. So let's begin. All right, so everyone know what's the ratio and what's the percentage, right? For example, if I say, uh, what is the value of one by five? Everyone knows the value is going to be one, that's going to be 20 percentage. So 1 by 5 is a ratio and 20 is just a percentage change of 1 on 5. And that's a small application which will help you to solve all the difficult questions of your geometry in your CAT exam. Okay. Now be, you must have learned all the topics in terms of algebra or geometry. In geometry you must have covered circles, triangles, polygons, everything. But all the typical question in your CAT exam can be clubbed in three varieties. One is your length based sum. Second is your area based sum. And third is going to be your volume based sum. Where they'll give you this some change in the length, what is going to happen in the corresponding change in the area and what is going to happen in the corresponding change of the volume. Those are the questions that we'll be solving. Now understand one thing. Your length is a figure. Your length is a figure which is just one dimensional. I have mentioned here. Your length are the figures, are, are the figures which are given in one dimensional. Your area is always two dimensional as there are two parameters involved. Let's say area of a rectangle will be length into breadth. So L and B will be two dimensional <clears throat> and volume on the other hand will always be three dimensional, which means if, if you talk about the volume of a cuboid, which is L, B and H, that is length into breadth into height, into height. So there are three dimensions which are involved. So it's a three dimensional figure. Now understand this application in a very well manner. What I'm telling you now is if for a figure, if for a figure, the length are in the ratio of one to two, if for a figure, be it a, be it a cube board, be it a cone, be it a rectangle or be it a square. If the length of the figures are in the ratio of one to two, the corresponding area will be in the ratio of one to four and the corresponding volume will be in the ratio of 1 is to 8 which simply means which simply means if I have two rectangles let's say a rectangle 1 and rectangle 2 where length is L and breadth is B here and length here is 2L and length and breadth here is 2B the corresponding change in the area will be 4 times to the area that was there in the first row here length was here if I talk about the area of this rectangle it's going to be LB here it's going to be 2L into 2B, so it's going to be 4 times LB. So if we talk about the ratio, it's going to be 1 is to 4. That's what I'm going to, what I'm telling you here. It is not the prerequisite that the length has to be in the ratio of 1 is to 2. Whatever the ratio of length it may be, if the ratio of length is A to B, the ratio of area is nothing but A is to B square. And the ratio of volume is always nothing but A is to B cube. Because this is bloody your one dimensional figure, this is nothing but two dimensional figure, and this is nothing but your 3D figure. That's your volume. Now, if you have understood that this application, possibly we can solve all the difficult level questions of a geometry in your CAD exam in like seconds. Okay. Let's see this question. The question says let A and B be two solid spheres such that the surface area of B is 300 percentage more than the surface area of A. Then the volume of A is found to be K percentage lower than the volume of B. And they are asking about to find the value of this K. So what is given to you? What is given to you is two sphere, let's say A and B. And they have given you a, a, something about the area. Okay. And they are asking you something about the volume. What I've just taught you now is your area is nothing but a two dimensional figure and volume is nothing but your three dimensional figure and one dimensional figure is nothing but your length or anything which comes in one dimensional. 
will be coming above this. Okay. So if I if I just see this, what is being given to you is they are talking about the surface area. Now, be it the lateral surface area, be it total surface area, be it the curved surface area, your area will just be classified as an area, which will always be a two-dimensional figure. And they are saying B is 300 percentage more than the area of A, which simply means had it been the case, it's one here. That the area of A is one, then the area of B has to be four. The area of B has to be four. Only in this case, there will be a uh, the percentage change will be of 300 percentage. So four is how much percentage more than one? It's going to be 300 percentage. Okay. Now, had it been the case that the areas in, are in the ratio of one to four, the one-dimensional figure would have been in the ratio of what? Would have been in the ratio of one to two, because that's what we have just learned. There's nothing but the square of this. Okay. Now, if your one-dimensional figure is in the ratio of one to two, the three-dimensional volume will be in the ratio of what? The cube of it which will be in the ratio of 1 is to 8. And the question is not, not, not that difficult now. The question is just now, the volume of A is what percentage lower than the volume of B, which simply means 1 is how much less than 8. So 1 is how much less than 8? 1 is 7 less than 8. How much 7 on 8? What is the value of 7 on 8? It's going to be how much? 87.5 percentage. So, so how quickly can you solve the all the difficult level questions of the geometry questions? This is simply on the simple application of ratio to a percentage change. This is the first case. Okay, so if you want, you can pause this video for a couple of seconds and understand what I have just written here. Let's go ahead. Okay, let's say CAD 2015. Next question. These are the actual questions of a CAD examination, but I can very well tell you in, in writing that everyone who is seeing this video can solve all the difficult level questions of a geometry question like seconds okay the next question what they have given you is they are talking about the volume why they say the length breadth and the height of a room are in the ratio of three to two to one if the breadth and the height is halved and while the length is doubled then the total area of the four walls will be how much okay so they have given length breadth as and height in the ratio three is to two is to one Let's assume the value should be as 6, 4, and 2. This is my length, this is my breadth, and this is my height. Okay. And now they're saying this is my original volume. And the new volume, if I talk about, now they're saying the breadth and the height is halved, which means this will become 2 and this will become 1. And what has happened to length? This is doubled. Okay. And they're asking about a change in the area of the four walls. So area of four walls, which includes two times length and two times breadth. Everyone knows this formula. This is two times LH plus BH. Okay. Going with the first case, this will become two times L into H, 6 into 2, 12, plus 4 into 2, 8. This will become 40. So my original <coughs> area of the four walls was how much? 40. If I talk about the new four walls, so it's it's new four walls where uh, the length has been doubled and the breadth and the height has been halved. This will be how much? Two times LH 12 into 1 will become 12 plus BH will become how much? 2. This will become how much? 12 plus 2 is 14 into 2 28. Now the question is just about 28 is how much less than 40. What is the difference of 28 and 40? It's nothing but 12. How much on less? 40. What percentage is this? 30 percentage. So how beautifully you solve this question? So the answer is going to be 30 percentage less with the application of ratio and percentage. All right. So the new question says, this is CAD 2005 question. All right, circular cone of height H. So this is a cone. Uh, a right circular cone of height h is cut by a plane parallel to the base at a distance of h by 3 from the base then the volumes of the resulting cone and the resulting frustum will be in the ratio of what so they are talking about a right circular cone which you can see in the figure of a height h of a height h 
and they are saying it has been cut to an axis parallel to the base. So this is my base and they have cut to and to this axis and they have also given the distance. This is h by 3 from the base. This is h by 3. So the, if, if we talk about the total distance, if we, if we talk about the total height, if we talk about the total height to be as 3, so probably this will be 1 and this will be 2. If the total height of the cone is 3, they have cut at one third of the height. So this is 1 and this is 2. So a height or length or breadth will become how which dimensional figure? This will be one dimensional figure. So the question is about the question is about one dimensional change to three dimensional change. So they are the, finally they are talking about a ratio which is nothing but a ratio of the resulting cone this and the resulting frustum this. So they want a ratio of this two volumes. Let's understand um, the let, let's see the ratio. Let's see how the values have been changed for the volume of the previous cone to the new cone. For the previous cone, let's say the previous cone and the new cone. The height for the previous cone was how much? Three. The height for the new cone, the resulting cone is how much? Two. So this one dimensional figure height the ratio of the height is how much? 3 to 2. Now had it been 3 to 2 as a ratio of the height, what would have been the volume here? The volume is nothing but a 3D figure. So if, if this is the ratio, the cube of this ratio will be the ratio of the volume. Will be the ratio of the volume. Which simply means for the original cone, if the value was 27, the resulting cone, which is just this much, the resulting cone, will be just this much. How much will this be? 8. And what you have just done? You have just taken the cube of this. You have just taken the cube of the height ratio. So this is 27 is to 8. So 8 is the volume of the of the cone. And the next question is, they also want for the first term which is left. Now understand one thing, if for the overall cone the volume was 27. Out of 27, 8 has come here. 8 has come here. So how much will come in the resulting flush term? This will be 27 minus 8 as 19. So how quickly will you get the answer that the answer has to be nothing but 8 is to 19? From the same application again, that's nothing but ratio and percentage change. There's nothing but again ratio to percentage change. The answer is going to be 8 is to 19. Because 8 is to 19 was the only value where the additional value makes it up to 27 makes it up to 27. Okay, so let's see the last question of this video, which is CAT 2008, the most difficult question that has ever come across in geometry question. The question says, the a piece of paper is in the shape of a right angle triangle and is cut along the line that is parallel to the hypotenuse. That is simple. Uh, um, okay, leaving a smaller triangle. There was 35% reduction in the length of the hypotenuse of a triangle. If the area of the original triangle was 34 square inches before cut, then what is the area of the smaller triangle? So all what you can see now is you got a right angle triangle here. You have got a right angle triangle here. Something like this. Okay. And the area for the original triangle was also given as 34. Okay. And they are saying there is a cut along the axis which is there is a cut which is along the axis to the hypotenuse. To the hy if this is the hypotenuse of the original triangle, this will be, be the hypotenuse of the new triangle. Will be the hypotenuse of simply a new triangle. They are saying the reduction is nothing but 35 percent reduction. Which means, had it been the original height or the hypotenuse, so the hypotenuse for the triangle to be a somewhere, the new hypotenuse should be around 65. 65. So because this is 35% reduction. So if I talk about uh, the ratio of the hypotenuse of the previous triangle and the new triangle, this is nothing but in the ratio of 100 is to 65. What is this? 
there's the ratio of the hypotenuse. By giving the ratio of the hypotenuse, they are asking you to find the ratio of uh, just to, they are asking you to find the new area. And the new area will come by how, by what? The new area will just come with the ratio of the area of the Purana triangle, which is 34 to what? Now everyone knows that hypotenuse or length will be a 1D figure. If the 1D figure is in the ratio of 1 age to B, the two dimensional area based figures will be in the ratio of age to B's square. That simply means the ratio of the older triangle to the new triangle will be 34 is to x, where x is the value that you have to find out, which is nothing but the area of the new triangle will be nothing but 1 divided by 0 0.65 square. 1 divided by 0 0.65 square. But simply this is nothing but 100 by 65. Okay. So 1 square will become 1. And this value will be nothing but your x will be nothing but 0.65 squares percentage of 34 of 34. What is the value of 65 square? Your 65 square. How do you get the value of all the square which are ending in 5? If a value is ending in 5, the last two values should be 25. What comes after 6 in the number line? 7. So what is the value of 6 into 7? 42. So the value will be 4225, which is 65 square. You are searching for 0.65. So the value will be 0 0.4225, which means the final answer will be nothing but 40, roughly around 42 percentage of 34. Now, what is the nearest value of 42 percentage of 34? 10 percentage of 34 will be 3.4. So the, the nearest answer that I can see for 42 percentage of 34 to be as 14 as a final answer. And again, I'll repeat, just with the application of ratio and percentage, which you have done in class 7th, 8th and 9th, you can solve all the difficult level questions or the application-based questions of geometry of your CAD exam. No one on this planet Earth can leave this topic before uh, if you are really gearing up for your CAD examination. Because this carry this overall topic carries a weightage of around 7 to 8 questions out of 34 different questions of your quant section. So you cannot leave this question. All right, so I hope you have enjoyed this video. Do practice more questions. Uh, do su subscribe to the channel so that I'll uh, get more charge to put up more videos on the shortcut side. Okay, to make me as a personal mentor, click on this number or uh, do call me up to get in touch with me. All right, thank you so much. Wish you all the very best.